Hello, welcome back to Space Ancient Days. In today's video, we're looking at another exceptionally useful mod that, well, I didn't know I needed until now. So this thing that I'm currently standing inside of is one of two parts of this mod, and it's called the Airlock Connectors, which are these lovely things over here. So they come in a big and a small version, both for the large block. The small one on the right hand side can be used on a small block grid, exactly the same size, exactly the same model, and you just slap it on, and it just works. So what are these? Well, these are basically just glorified connectors that you can walk through. It's such a simple mod at the end of the day, yet it's so incredibly useful that I think it's probably one of the best mods I've ever seen for Space Engineers so far. So yes, what we're going to do is have a look around these models, then we're going to go through some demonstrations that you can see in the background already set up, and well, ready to go. And I think that'll be that, because there's not too much else to talk about. Just highly recommend downloading it, check it out yourself, maybe you can just stop watching this video and go and do that right now. Yes, for the airlock connectors, once you've added this in through the mod menu, you can get new options down to here. We've got our small version, the large block small version, which is fairly cheap to build. Then we come across the large one, which is a bit more expensive, but still not too bad at the end of the day, considering the functionality that it gives you. Back over to the small one, over to the small block version, and there we go, it is basically the same, well I say basically the same, it's identical to the large block version in cost, so it is no different at the end of the day. We'll come around and look at the front here, here we have the large one, got a little platform for you to walk across, that conveniently connects up to any kind of steel blocks using as flooring, or to another one of these connectors, if you want to have it on the opposite side, connected up to this section right here. On the front, down below here where I'm standing, this is not a connector, you can't use this up to a small connector or anything like that, that's simply a way to transfer stuff from this one, over to the ship that's connecting up to it. Come around towards the very bank, and there we go. We've got a small container-like conveyor where we can just walk up to it, access it, and put stuff in and out as we please, or we'll connect it up to a conveyor system onto your ship, onto your base, or we'll just have it all funnel through into this airlock connector. Anyway, pulling away from here, looking at the bank there, we see there's quite a lot of detail on this model, an impressive amount of detail on this model. So bank down to here, next to our little container, and they've got this little mesh grid right here where we come all the way through and see this little section right here. Moving all the way through this section, there we're at the very front, onto our little nub, that all connects up to the next connector. Then all the way around the scene we've got some silver pipe work. Then we've got these little black sections on the corners on the east side. Looking out on the side there. There we go. Onto the top. There we are. And that's a brief look around the large one. For the small one, this is just very simple. Here we are at the very front. We've got a little ring to connect up to another one of these little rings. Then we've got arrows just pointing in, directly towards the middle, just in case you do get a bit lost off where you're meant to be going. Onto the side. Nothing really much to talk about over here. Onto the back, and there you are with some hazard strips, so just to make sure you know that you're going outside. Over here you do have a tiny little lip to stand onto, which is a very nice little touch. And up to there, not too much else to talk about with that one. But as for that, grab a hold of my character, it's time for a demonstration, or at least an example first, before I actually go demonstrate them connecting up. So over here to the good old albatross, which has had a slight little paint scheme change. But yes, over here where the hangar base should be sitting, what I've done is connect up this small one and a large one, and we'll just set up a small little airlock as an example. So using the big one first of all, because this is the most impressive, and this is all it is. You simply come inside, there we are, and then the doorway goes into the hangar. Of course that's not going to be airtight on this section right here, we cannot close up the connector, it's going to be wide open to all connect up to the next ship. So you might be wondering why you would do this over say having a double door for an airlock. Well this just means when you actually connect up another large ship, you then form an airlock between those two ships, rather than having to have a double door or a double system to actually protect your interior to make sure you don't leak out oxygen. So you'd only come through this doorway once that's connected up, or if you're on Earth like planet, and we're just walking across to a station. Yes, that's all I've done, just in case it's some steel blocks, and we just walk through into here. Then as for the other one, round here, another single door once again, exactly the same setup, this time it's very, very small. And we just walk through here, and there we go, just a very diddy version of that one, in case you do want to have a very small one, out to a smaller ship, or a small block ship in general. But yes, that's the example. Now what we're going to do is a demonstration. Once again, another ship that I have manhandled, and we'll just completely ruin the interior of it. I just delete a bunch of blocks. I'll refit it to make sure it was airtight. But here we go for a small one. There it is right there. So yes, the way this works is that it just simply slaps onto the front like a window block. So just get rid of that. She's saving the colours. We now just spin this round, just like a window, just like a catwalk, just like some barred windows, and just slap it on front of the door. Then we can still reach inside, open out the doorway, and go inside like so. Close that up. There we go. All the way up and around. And getting into the seat. Now what I could do is very fumbly, connect up with that small connector. And we'll hopefully just go 
Why, well, there is no camera on this to assist me. The cameras are in very awkward position. So you can come all the way up to it like so, and hopefully number one on the hotbar will light up and allow me to connect up while we need to fiddle around. So dragging that all the way up. Oh yeah, I deleted that, so I need to drag down a brand new one. There we go. Yes, it's got the exact same controls as a regular connector, so no need to worry about that. Coming out of that. There we go, coming a bit closer, ready to connect. Pressing number one, we're now fully connected up to the albatross, looking at it like so. We're straight up against those blocks. And now I can come all the way back down, through here, dropping myself down, all the way up, only up the doorway. And there we go, that's the connection it makes. An absolute perfect seal all around this thing to point if I open up that doorway. And now we've linked the interior, we've linked the airflow, so now it's flowing from this ship to the one behind me. And as you can see, the oxygen is high, and of course we are still very warm. So here we are on the Albatross, walking through. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. And there we are, that's just simply the beauty of this connected system. And we're back through here, closing on that doorway, so make sure we don't lose any oxygen in there. Closing out that, and I can see we disconnect that, fly away, and well, that connector has done its job. And we're pulling away from here, so we're nice and far away. Not really sure what is the flying landing leg right down there. Now I'm just going to come all the way down once again and head across to the big ship before we go in there and say injecting stuff out connectors. So over here, another ship that I well completely destroyed. Coming to the opposite side, it did have a very big custom turret on the side, and all this was conveyed together, linking everything on the internals. But no, I just went and slapped on the large connector. Over to here, so if we come all the way down, now drop down, see part of the conveyor is linking everything together, see the iron thrusters on the side, and I've gone ahead and added the gaze. So I could open up this, let out all the oxygen, then walk through here. Had the jury, a few bits and bobs inside to actually make sure the auction would actually function in this ship. But no, there we go, that's another example of what you can do with this if you want to have a side loading section. Didn't mean to come out here, I want to go into the cockpits. So through here once again, closing out of that, towards the front. I'm going to close that up once again into this. Now what we're going to do is come and side connect this up. So around here, once again, it's going to be quite awkward because there's no camera to actually help me out. And we're going to hopefully actually be able to connect this thing up. I might need to get a bit wonky and say tilt this all the way down like so. So here we come across. And I might be able to get away without tilting, but I am going to do this just for the sake of it. And across we go. So all the way up, I once again got added to my hotbar. So over here, just dragging it down onto the number 9, come over to here and switch lock. And now we just got to come back a little bit onto the side. Come up just a little bit more. And there we go, we're now ready to lock. Pressing number 9, I'm going to pop out of this, now I'm going to come back to that gate. We just went through a minute ago, so open up this, through here, and ignoring that stuff has changed on the inside here because well, when I actually connected it up, I damaged quite a few blogs, so I had to go around and actually repair everything up to make sure it was all airtight once again. Otherwise, this demonstration would be pretty pointless. But here we go, I'm now going to open up the gates, and here we are. We've now gone all wonky, deliberately wonky, so you see you don't have to connect up directly to this, but you will want to connect it up directly if you do want to actually connect stuff from the main ship into this ship, or to whatever you want to connect up to. But yes, as it is, we're still all perfectly airtight. We now walk across here very wonkily and come into the Albatross once again. There's a little hiccup right there where it goes no oxygen. Not really too sure what you can do about that, but it still does not matter. It does not seem to leak oxygen. At least I haven't found it leaking oxygen at all. Excuse me, step to the right. Got oxygen. Come through here. And we've got oxygen. It seems to be this section right here, which is being a bit of a problem. No, we can open up this. We see no oxygen is leaking out. And we are all perfectly fine to come into the ship and we'll do our business. But yes, back through here. There we go. Going to close up that one more time. Back into this, disconnecting it, and while moving it away. There we go, pressing number 9. Away we go. Back now, just go away into the distance. And we'll come all the way back through, and we'll back outside. So with that, that's pretty much it for this mod, all it has to offer. One final thing to do is, of course, to show it ejecting stuff out, because I believe that will be quite an interesting thing to watch. But I'm going to cut back once I actually set up something, but actually eject stuff out. And so here we go, it's a very rudimentary setup where we're going to be ejecting out Clan Cola for that Warfare cargo you can see in the background. We've got a reactor attached on the back of it, and we'll two paths for the conveyors come across to these connector airlocks. So grab my whole my character, coming over to this, we're going to access this. Oop, bit far there, the gravity generated from that ship is, well, quite a far range. So up to here, finding the connector, there it is. We want to collect all, and we're going to start to throw out. And that's what it looks like, it's just coming out of the middle, like a gigantic version of the standard connector, and well, thanks to the gravity generator, all the clan cola is now going to be flying down to the ground, or at least down to space, to never be found again. So into here once again, want to actually switch that off, 
There we are, now I'm going to come across the small flag connector sitting right next to it. So in here I want to collect all one skin, throw out one skin, and... Nothing is happening. So going to double check this one more time, and while it doesn't look like this one can actually eject stuff out, which is kind of a shame, but I'm going to put that down to simply a hasn't been implemented yet. But no, as for that, I believe that is pretty much it for the airlock connectors. They're just a fantastic thing to have in your world if you want to have a large connector to walk through to go from one ship to another, go from a large ship to a base, or even a small ship to a another base if you want to do that. It just works perfectly as you saw in this video. You just slap it on to wherever you want to have it slapped onto. So you just come up to a flat bit of wall, go like that, reline it, then start to remove the seal block behind there. And well, of course, you can actually remove the seal blocks behind there if you get a bit close to the connector. You can now just go get rid of all these. And well, now you're on the inside and got a way to walk out and go across to another ship. Yes, I believe I have covered pretty much everything. So there will be a link to a description below to which you download player yourself. Highly recommend you do because they're glorious things to have in your world. And I wouldn't be surprised to see these in a upcoming DLC or at least in Space Station 2 in the future. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.